Welcome to iLecture Online. Our next video is on the order of operations. It is very important that you follow the order in a specific way. If you have a mixture of addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, parentheses, and exponents, they must be done in a particular way. First, we take care of the parentheses. We work from the inside parentheses to the outside parentheses. Then we take care of exponents. Then we do the multiplication and division from left to right. And then we do the addition and subtraction again from left to right. So here are some examples to show you how to do this. Here, our first one, we want to simplify this. We want to work what's inside the parentheses first. Inside, we have a multiplication and a subtraction. We do the multiplication first. We rewrite this as 5 plus 2 times 3 times 4 is 12 minus 1 plus 8. We're still working out what's inside the parentheses. Now we simplify this. We write this is equal to 5 plus 2 times 12 minus 1 is 11 plus 8. Now what we have left is we have an addition, a multiplication, and an addition. Next we do the multiplication. This becomes 5 plus 2 times 11, which is 22, plus 8. And now finally all we have left is additions. We add everything, starting from left to the right. 5 plus 22 is 27, plus 8 is 35. Our second example has an addition, division, and an addition. We do the division first because that has priority over addition. This becomes 6 plus 9 divided by 3 is 3 plus 2. All we have left is additions now. This becomes 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 2 is 11. Our next example, we have a multiplication, an addition, a division, an addition, and a multiplication. Multiplication and division have priority over addition. In since we have no parentheses to guide us to do any one of them first, we simply go from left to right first. So here we have our first multiplication. This becomes 5 times 9, which is 45, plus, then we have our division here, 10 divided by 2, which is 5, plus 3 times 3, which is 9. Now we've eliminated all the multiplications and division. Now we can simply add what is left. 45 plus 5 is 50, plus 9 is 59. Our next example here has some parentheses. Inside the parentheses we have a multiplication and a subtraction. We work out what's inside the parentheses first. We start with the multiplication. This is equal to 10 minus 2 times 4 times 5, which is 20 minus 16. We still have to concentrate on what's inside the parentheses first. This becomes 10 minus 2 times 20 minus 16, which is 4. And now finally we can do this multiplication. This becomes 10 minus 2 times 4, which is 8. And the result then becomes 2. Our next example has parentheses inside brackets. Now brackets and parentheses are the same thing, except that we use brackets outside parentheses typically, or we put the parentheses inside the brackets. We must work from the inside out, which means we need to concentrate on this first, and then we do the rest what's inside the brackets. This becomes equal to 5 times, because there's nothing in between, that means multiplication, 10 plus 2 times what's inside the parentheses. But we have to do the multiplication first, 3 times 6, which is 18 minus 10. We continue by still working out what's inside these parentheses first. This becomes equal to 5 times. 10 plus 2 times 18 minus 10, which is 8. So now we need to take care of what's inside the brackets, but first we need to get rid of these parentheses by multiplying this times that. This becomes 5 times 10 plus 2 times 8 is 16. Here still we need to work out what's inside the brackets first before we do this multiplication. This becomes 5 times and uh, 10 plus 16 is 26. And finally, 5 times 26, that would be equal to 130. Our last example now also has exponents. Remember that exponents take precedence over addition, subtraction, or division. That means we need to do the, the exponents first. 2 to the fifth power, that's equal to 32. This means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Plus 6 to the second power, which is 36 divided by 2 to the second power, which is 4, minus 3 to the second power, which is 9. Notice that we're taking care of exponents first, left everything else alone. The next thing we need to do 
is do the division before we do addition and subtraction. This becomes equal to 32 plus 36 divided by 4, which is 9, minus 9. And now we can go ahead and do the addition and subtraction from left to right. This is equal to 32 plus 9, which is 41, minus 9, which is back to 32. And that's how we work out operations like that, starting with parentheses first, from the inside to the outside. Then we attack exponents. After exponents, we do multiplication and division. And finally, we do the addition and subtraction. And there's some nice examples to guide you. And that's how it's done.